Hello, Steve. Today is Thursday, June the 5th. As you recall from my last video, I said you'd make your video on either Monday or Tuesday, and I'll be ready for Wednesday. Well, today is Thursday. <laughs> There was an official reason why I did not make a video yesterday. Around the time I was planning on making a video, a developing story had just emerged from Munton. So at that point, my mindset had shifted from trying to make a video to trying to understand what was going on. So my thoughts and condolences go out to the people of Munton, the province of New Brunswick, and all people affected by this tragedy. Moving on to lighter topics, yesterday at Tim Hortons it just so happened to be Camp Day which is always a special day for me, seeing that I've worked many years at camp. So for today's video, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite things to talk about, camp. Namely, the top five reasons that I love camp. Number five, fun activities. Being on camp grounds gives you daily access to things that you would never usually be able to take part in. Outside of camp, it's hard to be a part of and organize a lot of these activities. For example, how many days of the year can you say that you go out for a canoe trip in the morning, take part in high ropes in the afternoon, and take part in a 200-person game of Capture the Flag in the evening? In our regular day-to-day -day lives, that just doesn't happen. Number four, getting outdoors. In the current modern world that we live in, we're very attached at the hip to technology. And it's not that there's no attachment to technology when you're working at camp, it's just that it's much easier to break away from it. So when you're working at camp, technology doesn't feel as much of a burden on your life. It's also just really nice to get out in the sun, go for a nice swim, get some physical activity, and feel the vitality of life flowing through you. Number three, a chance to break free. I want to break free. I want to break free. When you're working at camp, you can do things in your life that you otherwise would never do. At any moment while you're working at camp, you could just decide to burst out into song. You can step outside wearing the most completely ridiculous costume. And honestly, it's not like a lot of the campers and a lot of the other cabin leaders won't look at you a little bit weird. But for whatever reason, when you're working at camp, you have the bravery to do pretty much anything you just feel like doing. And that's a philosophy that's really helped me out away from camp. I think that before I worked at camp, I was nowhere near as social and outgoing as I was after working at camp. I felt much more comfortable after working at camp, expressing my thoughts more vocally. Which is something that really helped me out a lot when I went to Teachers College. At the end of Teachers College, I ended up being one of the nominees for Valedictorian. And without camp, I don't think that ever would have happened. Number two, friends for a lifetime. As unfortunate as it can become to lose touch with the people that you worked with at camp, you'll never forget these people. It's a group of 60 or 70 people that you worked with very closely for a short period of time and get to know a lot of them very, very well. And because you're working in such a demanding situation where it might need to be on call at any moment, you become very open with the people you're working with. Some of my best memories have definitely come from working at camp, and I owe it a lot to the people around me. I really thought my choice for number two would be the top one, but there is one thing that can top that. And that, of course, is the purpose of camp to begin with. Number one. Making a difference in kids' lives. At the end of the day, myself didn't participate in activities, get outdoors, make great friends, and become a better person is not the real reason why camp is around. And while you're working at camp, it's always important to keep that mindset in the focus. Because camp really isn't about yourself, it's about the kids that are coming there. A lot of the kids that come to camp are disadvantaged and do not have the same opportunities that we may have had growing up. And every week, there's tons and tons of kids who come to the camp who would never experience a group of people caring for them. And that week in camp ends up being a very big bright spot for them, something that changes their life forever. And in the end, that's why I really enjoy camp and ended up coming back for multiple years. As a matter of fact, this year I plan on going back and volunteering for one week just to experience a little bit of camp again. So seeing as yesterday was camp day at Tim Hortons, I hope everyone got a chance to go out and help send kids to camp. Because in the end, the more kids that have an opportunity to go to camp, the better. So let's finish off today's video with some more Battleship. Your previous shot was a hit. Whoa, I didn't see that one coming. My original instinct was your next ship would be vertical. And while that may end up being true, since my last shot was a miss, I have to assume that it's going to be horizontal. 
and that's based on probability. Consider the fact that you have three ships left, yet the ship that I hit is a three-length ship that it cannot be vertical. Therefore, there's a 66% chance that if I go for one of the horizontal spots, it's a hit. However, if the ship that I hit is your spy ship, there's a one-third chance of it being in either spot. That means that the spot directly to the left or directly to the right each has a 77% chance of a hit. And the spot above has an 11% chance. And as much as I think that you have a vertical ship at some point, I cannot deny 7 times the odds. So my hope is that you say that I'd ought to hit and that I sunk your spy ship. And the second best thing you can say is that I'd ought to miss, because that means I'll sink your spy ship pretty soon. So after careful deliberation, my shot is C4. Come on, spy ship.